Hey, Trail Riders, welcome back to The Daily Ride. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about spiritual digestion. Our scriptures to get us through the Bible in a year are Jeremiah 42, verse 1, through chapter 44, verse 14. Psalm 119, verses 96 through 100. Proverbs 26, 10 through 12. And Titus chapter 1, verse 1 through chapter 2, verse 8. Today, we're, again, we're going to be talking about spiritual digestion. And our scripture comes from Psalm 119, 97, and then verse 99, which says, How I love your instruction. It is my meditation all day long. I have more insight than all my teachers because your degree, decrees are my meditation. Psalm 119, verses 97 and verse 99. One of the highest priorities in order to stay spiritually fresh is to cultivate a art of scripture meditation. For some reason, Bible meditation has become a lost art in our day and time. A survey conducted among Christians in the United States showed that only one of 10,000 knew how to meditate on scriptures. Isn't, isn't that sad? What then is the art of scripture meditation? It is reading parts of the Bible as slowly as possible so that every word sinks in. No, it's not studying a passage with the aid of a commentary so that one understands exactly what the scripture is saying. No, it is, is it memorizing certain text and recalling to mind whenever one has a spare moment? No. You can do all these things and still not know how to meditate on God's word. Andrew Murray describes it as holding the Word of God in your heart and mind until it has affected every area of your life. My own definition of this meditation is the process by which we place the Word of God into the digestive system of our soul, where it is transformed into faith and spiritual energy. Psalm chapter 1, verses 2 and 3 paints a picture of an amazing freshness and vitality. His delight is in the Lord's instruction, and he meditates on it day and night. He is like a tree planted beside streams of water that bears its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. What is the secret to amazing freshness? It's simple meditation to draw from scripture the inspiration and the power we need to stay spiritually fresh we must do more than just to read it study it and even memorize it we must meditate on it let's go to the lord in prayer our heavenly father we want so much to learn the art of meditation Quicken our desire to hide your word in our hearts so that we become the hidden springs of action and, and determines our character and our conduct. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For further study on this subject, look at Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 9, and Joshua 24, verse 31. And keep these two questions in mind. What was God's promise to Joshua? And two, what was the result or what was the condition and the result? God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the daily ride and I hope to see you on the next trail ride.